aggressive because they hurt so much. Like, not, like, I just get mean. And it hurts and I have to get pain medication. I'll fall asleep and I'll wake up and I'll, I'll be good. Mm-hmm. Have you slept much? Not really. I just I woke up from, I don't know how long, but it felt good. Yeah. But I didn't sleep, not, not at all last night. Do you remember anything from what happened? Yeah. You remember all of it? I remember most of it. That's probably a bad thing, huh? I mean, I didn't black out. I was, I remember the whole thing. So can you kind of walk me through what happened? So the day of the event, I wanted to uh, have a sleepover with several of my friends. Mm-hmm. And my mom only allowed me to have one. So I invited my uh, one of my good friends and, uh, you know, we, we did a homework because we had uh, most of our classes together. And then we just hanged out, played some video games, and I took my, uh, my mattress out in the living room, put it on the floor. And around 11 o'clock came and, uh, you know, we were on our iPods and, you know, we just fell asleep on our own. And then uh, through a clock rolled around, the earthquake happened. I didn't, it was, it was a, that day, it was a good day. Like we, it was a really good day. And for that to happen, like, it was a scary event. It, through a clock rolled around. I felt the first jolt of the earthquake. I spun around, I saw my friend, I yelled his name four times, waited for him to back all the way up to the front of the couch. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as I made sure he was in the front of the couch where he couldn't get hurt, I started crawling to get to the door. And just as I was put to put my right knee on the floor, the chimney collapsed on my back. And I stumbled a little forward on the floor. And I was laying there during the earthquake. And then I, I was screaming for my mom's name and she fell twice trying to get to me. <laughs> And uh, I was laying on the floor for maybe 30 minutes to an hour until the fireman came. Then the paramedic showed up afterwards. They took me to the Queen of the Valley Medical Center, mm-hmm. which I'm, I'm really grateful yeah. to the people over there. So were you trapped underneath the bricks, or could you get out on your own? I, I, I crawled out of them. Yeah, I, I, had, I didn't have all of them on top of me. I, had, I don't know how many landed on me, but I just remember crawling crawling. I, I thought I was paralyzed. I thought I was paralyzed for the first 30 seconds. I couldn't feel my legs. I couldn't feel my back. So when when things like that happen to me, there's like a moment of like panic. Was there any of that for you or were you kind of calm? There was a moment of panic, but you know, I tried staying positive about the thing. I tried, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be fine. This, this is just going to be temporary. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get through this. But I still panicked. But I <laughs> I, 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 I try to stay calm to, you know, to a, to a level. Mm-hmm. I, I did have moments where I would start screaming because, I mean, it felt like, in, like it was forever just laying on the floor. I didn't, I didn't think the paramedics were gonna come at all because the phone, wa- phone line weren't working, nothing was working. So my uh, grandfather just wanted to pick me up and take me to the hospital, but they told me, no, 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 leave him, leave him. And I had all the neighbors rushing in with lights looking at me and screaming. And then eventually they just left to the fire department and they came in and helped me out. So was this, I mean, cause you're 13, so you've probably never been through an earthquake before, right? No. Did you know what was going on immediately? Well, I knew it was an earthquake. I mean, it was interesting. Like, yeah, I, I knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah. So your injuries, I mean, cause we've, everybody, like the entire region <laughs> wants to know how you're doing. So, because you were in critical condition, you're now, you know, in a stable condition. Do you have, what are the doctors telling you about what, what's hurt and what, what has to happen? Well, when I, uh, first night I got to the hospital, I had a, I had a major surgery, I had a 10 hour surgery. And uh, I woke up from that and they told me that, uh, I uh, dislocated, no, before the surgery, that I dislocated my uh, pelvis into four different sections, and I did something else to my right pelvis. And then in my back, I have a bump the size of a brick. And uh, I have things on me I don't even know I have. Like, uh, I have this big roll right here of uh, a bandage because they had to cut me open like C-section in order to put my pelvis together. I have like three plates and two bolts inside of me right now. And I know I'm gonna have to have another surgery because they're gonna have to take it out. But that's not gonna be until a couple of months and they said I'm not gonna be able to walk to maybe five to six months. 
actually put any pressure on my legs, so I won't be in a wheelchair for a while. You seem like a, a pretty tough kid. Was there any ever a moment where you were kind of worried about how you were going to be? Of course. I I was scared. I I'm still I'm a little scared. I I I really don't know what to expect. I mean, either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on top of things. I'm I'm not trying to worry about it because I mean, there's it's not gonna help me out if I start being negative and start worrying about it. I, of course, I'm gonna have my moments where I'm gonna I'm gonna be down. I I know it. I know it's gonna happen, but I'm not gonna let it you know. I'm not gonna be depressed. I'm not gonna let it you know get to me. Right. I, I'm just not. So. As you were saying, I mean, firefighters, paramedics, so many people came to save you. If you had a chance, and maybe if they're watching this, what would you say to them? Thank you so much. I mean, I, the support I'm getting from the paramedics, after they brought me in, the paramedics actually took me to the, the Queen of the Valley Medical Center. They came to check up on me. I, words are indescribable and how grateful I am. You know, I also like to thank the UC Davis Medical Center. I mean, all my friends, my family. I I can't describe how how thankful I am. I mean, I was in uh, tears last night a little bit, looking at the news and stuff. Uh, Have you? Do you realize how bad Napa is in Vallejo and everything? I I I I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen parts and pieces in the news, but I I didn't get to see any of it at all. Do you want to, or do you just kind of want to shield yourself away from it? I mean, it's a reality. There's no hiding from me. I, I mean, I know there's going to be damage there when I get back. Of course, there's. I mean, I want to shield myself from it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Right. Have you been talking much with friends? Uh, a little bit, somewhat. Yeah. Have it, who's kind of helped keep your spirits up? All my friends. I've had uh, people I don't even know message me. They're like, I know you don't know me. I know this is a little creepy how I got your number, <laughs> but I'd like to let you know that I'm from Napa too. And uh, if you need anything, you can text me or call me. Mm -hmm. So some nights I'll, I can't sleep at all. Like I'll, I'll go to sleep at nine o'clock for an hour and I'll be up for seven hours and sleep for another hour. Then uh, I have some people that they're just gonna be up and I can always talk to them and they right. can comfort me. Do you consider yourself lucky to be alive? I do consider myself lucky to be alive. If I if I haven't moved, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I shouldn't be here right now. I, I should be dead. Looking at the picture for, so my head was facing the chimney. And if I haven't moved, all those bricks would have collapsed on my face. If I would have slept through the thing, I, I either would have had several injuries to my face or I would have been dead. How's your buddy doing? He's, he's okay. I, I talked to him earlier today. I give him a phone call. He's he's fine. Good. Yeah. Good. What's the hardest part for you right now? That's a hard question to answer. I mean, just the reality of it, the whole thing. Just, I mean, I'm 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 ready to wake up. You know, as a dream, any any second. But that's not gonna happen. I mean, I'm just the pain, the recovery. Were you playing for, um, on a soccer team currently? Yeah. Um, for high school or no, for rec? No, for rec. And you said what position were you? Sign a fullback. And do, were you the soccer players? No. Not yet? Right. Well, I've had a, I've had my, uh, one of my coaches call me and talk to me and his son. I've talked to him. What was mm. it like having this back recovered? I haven't, I haven't been into, I don't come to Sacramento often. Mm. You should come more. <laughs> yeah, I should, but I haven't seen the much games. I've. Oh, I was calm. I mean, I, I was expecting it to, to hurt a lot, but no, it was, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> I, I liked it. I liked Did you it have a great view? I, I had, I could see, a little bit. Ending everything that's going on to you. Uh, to a degree. Yeah. Are there parts that you? try not to kind of remember or be coherent through or is it part just like log sometimes? Well the pain meds, I mean every time I take them they make me feel heavy and I, I pass out within 10 minutes. I mean there's, I don't want to remember what happened but at the same time it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. I mean I can't change it. 
So the doctor's telling you you're not going to be able to walk for five to six months. Are they saying eventually they think you're going to be 100%? Yeah. Um, they tell me five to six months, but my goal is four months. <laughs> you're going to push it? I'm going to push it. <laughs> four months is my goal. I mean, I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt, but uh, four months is my goal. No, but I th I think I'll be fine. I think uh, I have most of my classes with my brother, mm -hmm. and all basically all my classes are based off on the computer. So I I my uncle is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> what has oh, this man. been like? Um, you I've met a couple of your support system. Too. Has that been hard for you to know that, especially for your parents? I imagine. <laughs> my dad and my mom have been a huge support. I mean, my dad and my mom like. My dad's one of those, you know, tough army guys, like, you know, thick as chest, army strong and stuff. But uh, when I was hurt, I just remember looking at my dad, my dad looking at me, holding my hand. I mean, my dad doesn't cry. I mean, he'll get in tears, but he doesn't cry. But uh, he was, he was worried. My mom, my mom and dad were worried. They've been switching on and off. So last night, my dad was with me the night before my mom was with me. I think tonight my mom's going to stay with me. Yeah, we ran into your dad in the hallway. He seemed like he was a little shaken up, but I think he's he's doing all right. Yeah. He's he was most concerned about you. He's like, oh, when you guys go in there, just you know, be cool. He's a little tired. Don't make him look bad. Yeah. Like, looking at you now, it's like nobody could make you look bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the area to know, you know, about what happened, what you're going through, how you're doing. Yeah. I just want everybody to know that, uh, even though in the whole entire community that we may have setbacks like this, but we we're gonna get do this together as a community. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. It's gonna hurt. The recovery is gonna be a long recovery, but I'm gonna be okay. Are you sure you're only 13? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm only. I'm gonna spend a minute or two just getting some shots here, so okay. you know, I'll just stand here talking for a second. Thank so, you so much, Nicholas. Thank you. Do you prefer Nicky or Nicholas? Nick. 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 No. Okay. That's my name. And I. Never. Yeah. Okay. So you've never been anywhere else before. I was born in Vallejo, but Is that at uh, South Central Napa. Okay. I mean, it's a uh, it's over near Harvest Middle School. Oh yeah. Okay. And over near uh, Goodwill area, like okay. where right it is, over the bridge. Okay. Okay. What high school are you gonna go to? I'm actually in high school. I this was gonna this would have been my third weekend. Uh, I go to New Technology High. Oh, really? So it's one of those like kind of uh, more trade kind of places. Yeah. Cool. What do you want to study? What they do is their job is to um, make the people look good. Exactly. Yeah. So they've got clients, and you know yeah. th their job is to get them in front of the news, make sure. And the you know what the really cool part about our job, you know, especially the print, but especially TV, is that we get to go so many places. I've, I've, you're good. We don't know the psychiatrist. We don't know what the copay will be. We don't know what hopefully it will be something that is.